you have just one day for the exam so how do you make the best use of this one day watch this video till the end to get strategies to make the best use of this one day and go to the exam with 100% confidence i will be dividing this video into three parts the first part i'll tell you what are the things you can do the second part i'll be telling you the mindset which you should have and the third part of the video i will be telling my own experience of what you should do one day before exam and i'll tell you two very interesting stories which may inspire you what happened to me just in case you don't know me i am company secretary alok i'm a practicing cs and a faculty here at excel academy i have six points for you what should you do one day before exam the first point is how do you use the index take the icsa book because icsa is going to give you exam not your coaching center not your friend but you will tell sir it is 600 pages 800 pages 900 pages how do we revise go to the index and the index has every topic along with the page number and for each topic just glance through it and try to remember whatever you know in that topic if you don't know just go to the particular page and have a quick glance i know it is easier said than done because when you are revising like this you will feel that you don't know many things but no problem just quickly glance you just have one day you have to cover everything you will remember whatever you have studied even 2 months ago or 1 month ago the second point is about visualizing the question paper take the icsa question paper and then read the question paper and visualize okay tomorrow morning i'm going to the exam tomorrow afternoon whenever your exam is and visualize the question paper coming like this because the format of question paper is same but the questions will be different obviously the third important thing is sir should i revise all the chapters the unfortunate answer is yes you need to revise every single chapter you'll tell sir one day is there how will we do it you like it or not you have to set a time for this for example in company law let us say you have 19 chapters you have to give anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes for each chapter on average yes big chapters you may give one and a half hour small chapter you may give just 20 minutes which will give you 10 to 12 hours for you to revise the entire syllabus why should you revise every single chapter in icsi exam the main question will have have four or five sub questions each of the sub question is from a different chapter so if you tell that oh 19 chapters are there i will leave four to five chapters the problem is you cannot answer all the sub questions in the main question and that is the reason why you cannot attempt for 100 marks which is essential even if you just know one point you have to write and attempt for 100 marks of the paper fourth point what you should do one day before exam is actually when you are doing the first step that is looking at the index and revising each and every topic mark the things which you want to look at again just two or three hours before exam so tomorrow before going to exam look at these particular things things which are difficult or things which are asked more in the exam or things which you need to look again to remember and to understand the fifth point you should do one day before exam is writing practice you will tell sir come on we just have one day what are we going to write we don't have time and you're telling us to write please hold on overall just write two answers you can select one case law question and answer that you can select one direct question and answer that this will give you the practice to write this will not take more than 20 minutes of your time and if it is a practical paper please solve the sums of at least two problems you will take anywhere between 10 to 12 hours to revise everything and about 20 minutes to write and practice i'm sure you can give 20 minutes to write and practice because this gives you the practice to write the exam which is tomorrow for you the sixth point one day before exam in my first part is actually you need to sleep well little sir come on what are you saying no this is again scientific clearly proven for all these days before exam if you slept for let us say 7 hours every day suddenly one day before exam if you sleep only for 2 or 3 hours your brain gets a shock it cannot remember and when your brain is not active what will you write in the exam even things you have studied you cannot remember so these are the six things you should do before exam so this is the first part of the video second part of the video is about your mindset what is the mindset you should have many students tell sir i know i'm going to fail definitely i'm going to fail what will happen just by studying one more day tomorrow is my exam i'm going to go to next attempt i will not study no the mindset you should have is let us say you are going on a hike you can see the peak of the mountain you have to reach the peak of the mountain and you still have a long way to go in this example let me tell you that you cannot go back let's say there is a situation that there is some danger behind you and you cannot go back so you have to reach the top of the mountain and you need to escape the floods or something like that in this scenario will you tell that oh i don't have time anyway i'm not going to reach the peak of the mountain in one day so let me not go let me just stand here your life is in danger if you stand there so what you will do is you will 
actually move ahead you will try your best and you will go with the enthusiasm and josh in such a way that i will reach the mountain that is the same josh the same enthusiasm you should have even one day before exam also please remember that in your journey of company secretary course it is 3 to 5 years every minute you study you are getting one step closer to your peak of the mountain that is to become a company secretary whether you pass this attempt or not it doesn't matter you are moving one step closer and you are not wasting time so even if you feel you are going to definitely fail it doesn't matter this one day give your 100% do whatever i tell go to the exam with the attitude that you are going to pass go to the exam with the attitude that i'm going to definitely kill this exam i'm going to rock this paper this is the mindset which you should have now coming to the third part of the video where i tell you my experience of why you should study till the last minute i will never forget this i was in cs professional program in cs professional program we had two subjects in the same module which was tax paper and strategic management that was one of the papers which we had and i was very very bad in tax paper tax was very difficult for me and strategic management i was pretty okay i was not excellent but i was pretty okay so i will tell you what i did i studied till the last minute even though i knew that tax paper is very very difficult in fact just about 40 minutes before exam i saw two students who are ca passed and they were writing cs final exam cs professional exam and they were discussing some aspects in income tax so i was not confident i just stood next to them and i listened to everything that they discussed i know that i cannot suddenly study something new or whatever but still i just listened there and we stood there till the bell rang once the bell rang we went inside to write the exam and to my surprise one of the questions was one of the aspects which we had discussed just one hour before exam in fact i didn't discuss i was just listening and since i had listened i wrote that every small thing made a difference because till the last minute i studied and as i have already told you earlier in cs professional i got just 40 marks in tax just pass what if i left hope and i did not study till the last minute i would not have written that one point and i would have got 38 or 39 and have failed that attempt similarly the next exam was strategic management and strategic management i said that okay tax i may pass i may fail but i studied till the last minute i'll do the same thing for strategic management so strategic management what i did is whatever i knew it's a theory subject and lot of things to study till the last minute of the exam i studied in fact i studied one topic just before the bell rang i was revising that topic i had forgotten some points so i was just revising everything and the bell rang i closed the book in fact the teacher said please come in fast the bell has rang you should start writing so i went inside and i sat to my surprise and my luck it was lucky one of the questions was just what i had studied 5 minutes before exam of course i wrote that i got good marks i got 63 marks i remember in strategic management and i got 40 in tax and overall i passed that module and the secret is i never gave up hope till the last minute and i studied till the very last minute see some students tell that no no one hour before exam i will just relax that is your wish if it works for you please do it i'm just telling what i did and it gave me result and that is something i'll never forget this happened more than 15 years ago but i still remember because i got exactly 40 in tax and 62 or 63 in strategic management and that gave me the aggregate otherwise i would have failed that attempt and i don't know what would have happened next attempt so the secret is study till the very last minute don't give up hope till the last minute do whatever is in your hand till the exam starts we have the time in my hand we have the time in our hand we should not waste that time give your best Just don't have any negative thoughts end of the day who corrects your paper is not in your hand what is in your control is studying till the last minute giving your best shot writing the exam in such a way that you are going to pass that is the attitude we have to go through i hope you like this please let me know what you think in the comments and all the best for your exam you have one day please give your best shot